Hello everybody, I'm Fabian and welcome back to Fab Motorbikes. This week is a how-to video on how to extract one of these tiny little windscreen screws. So here's the screw in question in the windscreen and there is the screw head. So easy to shear off, just uh, they're made of plastic. Uh, now I've seen people online try and jam tiny flathead screwdrivers in there to try and back it out. That doesn't work. I've seen people try and melt the top of a paper clip and sort of form a flathead in the screw within the mounting and then try and back it out. That doesn't work either. There's an easier way that is a bit more of a faff, but it's, it stops you from damaging your bike even further. So step number one is to remove the windscreen. All you need for this is the screwdriver that comes with the Yamaha kit. Now, you don't even need the handle. These screws require so little torque, just that will do. Off it comes. Right in there is the broken screw. Don't try and get that out, it's not gonna work. For example, trying to turn it with this, you'll be there all day. So unfortunately what needs to happen is actually you need to remove this entire plastic area of the fairing. Let's get to it. Now once that's off, here is the rubber grommet. You now, because of that plastic uh, piece of the fairing is off, you have access to the back of it here. You can either now pull the rubber grommet through. And there we go, it's out. Initially I thought you were to pull it out backwards, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. So what you do is you just back it out the way you would normally. And because you can hold onto this part of the remaining part of the screw, you just hold on to there and rotate and slowly it will start to come out this side of the rubber grommet and keep going and out that broken piece of the screw comes backing its way out with your hands oh dropped it never mind there we go old broken screw out you are then left with this empty hole you can simply then now put the rubber grommet back in it will not because it's so sort of fat on this side it will not go in that way that's basically impossible so this is why you have to take the plastic inner fairing off you can then just push it back in that way And there we go, it's in, with no broken screw in there. I also do want to add, if you need to access these lower screws down here, unfortunately you will need to remove the dash and drop that down to access them. So it's then a case of just reassembling the bike. So it's now time to reinstall the windscreen. Well that screw there, I don't actually have it yet, it's still in the post, but it's ready to go in as soon as I do. So that's it today, thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a quick thumbs up and subscribe if you've not done so already. See you next week.